Let us look at an example of forecasting using the time series methods. The past data for the demand of a product is given to us in this table. So for the month of Jan 2013, the demand was 584 units. For Feb 2013, the demand was 610 units. For March 2013, the demand was 655 units and so on till July 2013 which has a demand of 963 units. So these are basically the actual demand for each of these months. Now if a 5 month moving average is used to forecast the next month's demand Compute the forecast for the month of August 2013. So basically this point number A is to find the forecast for month of August using the moving average method. B. Compute a weighted 3 month moving average for August 2013 where the weights are 0.5 for the latest month, 0.3 and 0.2 for the other months respectively. So B is to find the forecast for August 2013 using the weighted average method. And C is find an exponential smoothing forecast for the month of August 2013 taking alpha as 0.33. So C is to find the forecast using the exponential smoothing method. So let us find out the forecast for the month of August using the three time series methods simple moving average, weighted average and exponential smoothing. So let us first find out the simple moving average. Now the forecast for simple moving average can be found by the formula sum of n periods divided by n. Now we have already been given that we have to take a 5 month moving average. So n is 5. So since we have to find the forecast for August, we will take the last 5 months, so 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 till March 2013. So for March 2013 the demand is 655, for April 747, for May 862, for June 913, and for July 963 and this is all divided by 5 so this is equal to 4140 divided by 5 5 8 is a 40 1 carry over 5 2 is a 10 4 carry over 5 8 is a 40 so 828 units Next let's find out the forecast for August using the weighted moving average. Now here we have been asked to find out the weighted 3 month moving average for the month of August and the weights are 0.5 for the latest month 0.3 and 0.2 for the older months so here our forecast can be calculated as the weight for the month of July 
multiplied by the demand for July plus the weight for June multiplied by the demand for June plus the weight for May multiplied by the demand for May. So this is equal to the weight for the latest month has been given as 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 multiplied by the demand is 963 plus the weight for June which is 0.3 and the demand is 913. plus the weight for May is 0 0.2 multiplied by the demand which is 862 so this is equal to 927.8 units so this is the forecast for the month of August 2013 using the weighted moving average method. Now let's move to the third part which is to find the forecast using the exponential smoothing method. So exponential smoothing method. Now the formula for the exponential smoothing method is Ft that is forecast for the period t is equal to f t minus 1 that is a forecast for the period t minus 1 plus alpha multiplied by the actuals for the period t minus 1 minus the forecast for t minus 1. Now in our case T is August and T minus 1 will be July. Now let's see which of the values do we already have in order to calculate the forecast for August. So we have been given that alpha is 0 0.33 and the actuals for t minus 1 would be the actuals for July and we have been given the actual demand for July as 963 so this also we have which is 963 but we don't have the forecast for the month of July and we need the forecast in order to calculate the forecast for the month of August so now the question is that how do we proceed so let's assume that the actual for Jan is also the forecast for February so this is the actual and let me put the forecast here so we are assuming that for February the forecast is the same as the actual for Jan which is 584. Now using these two values and using this exponential smoothing method let's find out the forecast for the remaining months. So forecast for March so F March will be equal to the forecast for February which is 584 plus alpha which is 0 0.33 multiplied by the actual for the previous month which is 610 
minus the forecast 584 and this comes out to 592.58 now similarly let's find out the forecast for April so forecast for April is equal to the forecast for March which is 592.58 plus 0.33 actuals for March which is 655 minus the forecast 592.58 and this is equal to 613.18 now forecast for May so forecast for April which is 613.18 one eight plus zero point three three multiplied by the actuals for April which is seven forty seven minus six one three point one eight and this is equal to six fifty seven point three four so forecast for June is equal to the forecast for May which is 657.34 plus 0 0.33 multiplied by actuals for May which is 862 minus the forecast for May which is 657.34 and this is equal to 724.34 Eight, eight and forecast for July forecast for June which is 724.88 plus 0 0.33 multiplied by the actuals for June which is 913 minus the forecast for June which is 724.88 and this is equal to 786.96 so now we have f t minus 1 which is 786.96 a t minus 1 which is 963 and alpha is 0 0.33 so let's find out the value of the forecast so ft minus 1 which is 786.96 plus alpha which is 0 0.33 multiplied by the actuals which is 963 minus the forecast which is 786.96 so this turns out to be 845.05 so this is the forecast using the exponential smoothing method so let's compare the three forecast numbers that we got so using the simple moving average we had a forecast of 828 units for the month of August using the weighted moving average the forecast was 927 Point eight units and using the exponential smoothing the forecast is 845.05 units